Jeden z nejočekávanějších střetů v kleci, jaký Octagon kdy zažil. Odložené finále Octagon Underground dvou československých rivalů. Nepřemýšlí, nic neřeší, vypustí všechno, co v sobě má. Já myslím si, že to není úplně nejlepší styl. Matěj Mani Peňáz. V kleci dosud smetl vše, co se mu dostalo do cesty. Tvrdý slovenský bijec poháněný srbskou krví. Vlasto El Čapo Čepo. Nebojím se ničeho, jdem tam prostě na Česko. Takže Matěj, jdeme rozměnit na drobné, jak jsem hovoril. Já si myslím, že mě nikdo nerozmění na drobný, že jsem velká bankovka. <laughs> Rozjetý Matúš Juráček dostal přesně to, o co si řekl. Diamantového čáva z Bratislavy, Roba Pukače. Obávaný denverský grizzly Jeremy Kimbo se konečně vrací. A bude čelit španělské K.O. mašině Danielu Toledovi. Splácet dluhy ve jménu svého džimu se chystá super talent Tichota. Po skalpu Růžičky a Gabala je na řadě mladý polský kat David Kareta. A chybět nebudou. Královna undergroundu Teresa Bledá. Dvojka žebříčku lehké váhy Ronald Rony Paradiser. Bajný německý kelt Christian Jungwirth. Nezastavitelná šampionka výzvy Lucia Sabová. Nebo záruka těch nejatraktivnějších zápasů. Miroslav Inquisitor Brás. Jubilejní Octagon 30 v Brněnském Bobby Centru. Lístky v síti Ticket Portál nebo živě na octagon.tv. Oba mají za sebou zklamání, ale pouze jeden z nich se na turnaj dokáže vrátit do dobré nálady. Po třech vítězstvích v řadě už Malar přemýšlel nad tím, koho vyzvat do dalšího zápasu. Když jej zastavil, Robo Pukač Kimurou hned v prvním kole. Malach se tak musel znovu zavřít do džimu a opět pracovat na svém možná největším nedostatku, kterým je boj na zemi. V zápase s Ardou Adašem, kterého pro změnu zastavil ve vítězné šnůře Paradejser, bude Malach čelit komplexnímu bojovníkovi, který má na svém kontě šest ukončení z deseti vítězství. Oh, 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 a to je ono, naše. Teď je ale král Semeru zpátky. Vyléčil zraněné rameno a je hladovější než kdy dřív. Jak velkým oříškem bude tenhle německý tvrdák, který do Česka rozhodně nepřijel prohrát. Making his way to the octagon, Arda Bumaye Adas, an amazing nickname, probably one of my favorites that I've ever seen and heard. If you don't know, Bumaye means kill him, and uh, comes from Rumble in the Jungle. Ali Bumaye, Ali Bumaye, Ali Bumaye. Uh, over there in the Rumble in the Jungle, they would yell it for him, and, and obviously Arda. Bumaye is almost like Ali Bumaye. Yeah. So, clever guy, clever, Makes clever sense. name. You know, hails from Turkey, uh, but has moved over to Germany, training out the Spitfire gym. You know, under Amir Tar Tarizmad, who you'll see in his corner as well. It's his second fight here at Octagon. You know, mainly started his career over in Germany. The, 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 the German influence here at Octagon is growing and growing and growing. Obviously with Octagon TV, you know, they, they, they've acquired quite a few of the German shows that now get aired out there, NFC being one of them. Um, you know, so this is like the, the, the new wave for Octagon, bringing in these German fighters to challenge against the Czech fighters, to, to, to see that level and introduce a new nation. Yeah, exactly. We haven't seen too many German fighters uh, go up on the big stage. And um, 
Ardas is definitely making waves in that scene. Yeah, Aldo Ardas, uh, Bumaye is a very exciting fighter, can do it all. He's more of a stand-up guy, you know, likes to strike. Uh, had, a, had a bit of an injury in his shoulder, which is now recovered. But he's ready to go. I was talking to him in the hotel yesterday. Very, very nice guy, calm, respectful, and here to do his job. And he said, he's, I'm not coming here. To, I'm not coming all the way to Germany. Here to Bruno to lose. I'm going to put on a hell of a fight, and I'm going to, I'm going to give everything I've got. So let's see if he stays true to his word. He looks good. He looks physically fit, in shape, confident. Looks good. Yeah, he's put up. a lot of work into camp for this one. Obviously, here at Octagon, wanting to make a name for himself. Oh, that's Bormaye. Oh, that's Bormaye. <laughs> I gotta just just chop that the whole fight. He's just kidding. We all know who wants who to win. <laughs> we and a regular face here now, a three-fight veteran, Osgun Jan Malic, and also normally is sitting in our seats right here, commentates alongside Brian Lacey here at Oxygen MMA. Me and Kelvin replacing them for tonight's festivities. Jan. I'm not even going to attempt the nickname. <laughs> Alec uh, fights out of the Czech Republic in Prague, a Reinders gym. Obviously, the main and biggest gym here in the Czech Republic. Has a huge amount of fighters on the Octagon roster. Woo, he looks fired up. He's come here to prove something tonight, you know, struggling with his submission defense. Getting submitted a few times. He's gone away back to camp, worked on that, worked on his wrestling, and come here to prove his level again well known by the Oxcom fans a proud father now as well recently having a baby with his girlfriend so that motivation coming in here as well might be another reason he's so amped up see his coach there Adri Reinders the coach of Carlos Samola and many of the fighters here at Oxcom MMA we're going to see him quite a bit tonight are we I believe he's got five or six fires on the card, so busy man tonight. Yeah, this guy looks intense, man. This is going to be a great fight. I'm excited. He's got a bullish, a bullish attempt, a bullish style, comes forward, throws heavy shots. He's more of a striker, an aggressive striker, you know. So it's going to be interesting to see how he deals with the elusive style of Arda Bumayayadas, because... Arda's going to have the range, switch his stance a lot, moves very well, is very smooth. Jan Malic is more of a powerhouse. And like you said, very intense. You can see it here. No, you can feel it. You know, this fight is giving me, uh, I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's getting me the chills. <laughs> getting my heart pumping. No, the energy is different with this one. Yeah, we feel it change. That energy move, and you feel that when someone like Jan Malic gets out there and you can see the intention. You know, a real crowd pleaser. Gonna put it all on the line. A lot of similarities, both 29, both 70 inch. Reach. Dámy a pánové, máme před sebou třetí zápas turné Octagon 29. Lehká váha, tři kola po pěti minutách. Pojďme si představit oba muže. Nejprve modrý roh. 29 let, 185 cm, 70,5 kg na váze. Spitfire Jim Asayato pod trenérem pojem Elet Etelásim a Amirem Taremizadem. Má na svém kontě 15 zápasů, 10 vítězství, 6 ukončení před limitem a 5 porážek za Německo v modrém rohu. Arda, bomba je, Adaš. Červený roh, 29 let, 180 cm, 70,8 kg na váze. Reinders MMA tým, pod trenérem André Reindersem. Má na svém kontě 24 zápasů, 13 vítězství, z toho 9 ukončil před limitem a 11 porážek. Za DeepCBD.cz v rámci Nerudu a poháru a také za Česko v červeném rohu. Král Severu Jan Malák.
Gentlemen, you know the rules. Fight hard, fight fair, fight always for win. Step back. And here we go, adrenaline high. Ooh, my heart's pumping. A <laughs> little lightweight contest. Arda Bumaye Adas in the blue corner with the white shorts, taking on Jan Malic with the black in the red corner. Switch of stance early on from Adas. Elusive striker moves very, very well. The Turkish man flying out of Germany. Nice. Nice uh, entry there by Artis. He seems very confident, very uh, skilled in, the, uh, in his striking there. Yeah, Manish looking a little bit tentative, backing up. Feel like Addis has got him with those reads early on, those feints. Staying nice and sharp, staying nice and loose and, and long there, Artis is. And very deceptive with those stance switches. Keeps going to orthodox, the southpaw back to orthodox. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't imagine what Malek is, is thinking. You know, he keeps switching stances, giving them different looks. Extremely fluid is Bumaye. Yeah, I mean, Malek kind of seems like, what the heck is going on? Stop moving so much. <laughs> Stand still so I can hit you. Right. Grab and hold. Oh, they're switching up. Maybe looking for a takedown up against the fence. Let's see. Trying to get that tight waist. What is he going? What is he going to try and do here? You know, he can try and reap the leg. Can try and lift. Needs to get those hands together and that left elbow tied to the body, so he can manipulate the waist. Steps behind and oh, goes for that. Nice, beautiful takedown there. We said Malic has been working on his ground. Let's see if he can show it here tonight. Right. He's doing a good job trying to get that underhook. If he can get that right underhook and go to a, go to a single leg or from there, we'll see what he can do if he can get up. But uh, Artis is putting him up against the cage, which kind of makes it a little harder to do. Yeah, pretty tight as well. Artis not really giving up, not trying to progress, just, just holding on in this position. Kind of muscling uh, Jan Malic, which I did not expect. Right, because he's just so physically imposing, it looks like. Yeah, built like a tank. Yeah. My oh, man. Neon belly. Good forward pressure here. Forearm. Nice little elbow. Maybe give him the space, though, to Jan Malic to try and work a get-up. Does it? Needs to be careful with that cross face. Nice Ooh. knee to the body from others. Oh, that looked like it hurt. And that falls Jan Malic back down to the mat. That was almost uh, Anson Silva to tell Chow esque mm -hmm. Don't want to say that because I love Chow with all my heart, but it did remind me of that. Absolutely. Ardis pushing forward in this quarter mount position in total control so far. Look beautiful on the feet, very fluid, move very well, and now great control on top. Yeah, he's not rushing anything, any positions, staying calm, uh, doing all the right things here. Back to Mount. I know that if I, you know, I get in a good position, I get excited and I want to like hurry up and, and finish, but he's staying nice and calm and composed. Um, yeah, works himself to the mount position now, like you said, calm and composed, has a minute and 10 seconds left to work. Little shots coming in now. Let's see if Jan Malic can try and work an escape. Because, I mean, it's a long time to work when you're in this position. Maybe that was part of his plan. Like, he knew that Malic, you know, obviously has been working on his ground game, but he knew that this is probably one of the deficiencies that he has in it, a hole that he has in his game, right? You can say deficiencies. <laughs> Deficiency in his game, hole in his game, it's okay. Just great control, see how he's crossed the legs in the mount as well, beneath him. Very difficult to escape this position now for Jan Malic. 
Yeah, no, he's looking for openings, staying calm. Throwing punches, getting points. Yeah, dominant round for Bumaye. As we go to the last 10 seconds of the first. Yeah, Malish has got to try and uh, create a scramble of some sort, get up, but round's over now. I mean, physically imposing, go on top, control throughout, on the feet, looked very crisp, creative, changing angles, different stances. Yeah, this kid's good. Yeah, Malich, to be honest, looked a little lost, uh, even when he was giving him all those different looks, changing stances. Uh, he kind of was just backing up, kind of looking like, what, what do I do here? Yeah, very hard to read is Arda. He, 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 like you said, gives you a lot of different looks. Like mm -hmm. you said, he's difficult to understand. And, it, and he took him down. So, he, he, you know, even though he had the control on the feet, he took it, decided to take him down and was impressive there as well. Yeah, he was. He was. Lovely you know, takedown that as well. Yeah, that was super nice, super subtle and uh, smooth. Boom, there's that knee to the chest. That folded Malach. That even shows just, you know, how calm he is in there to, to, to pick that specific thing. A knee to the body while the guy's like on the ground trying to get up is very hard to do. You yeah. Know? To be that calm, to throw something like that is very, very difficult. It shows his, his, uh, his experience as well. And his intelligence, you know what I mean? Let's see how Yamalaj can re respond. You know, after losing that first round decisively, let's see if he can change the pace. This is the more aggressive Yan that, that we used to seeing. Still, to be careful that Adas doesn't whip up a kick as he's running. Attempted the flying knee there. Another one. I've never seen someone do that. Flying knee into a hammer fist or a hook in, in midair. Nice. Nice set up to the takedown. Gets that entry. Needs to get his hands glass together. Goes back around the body. Tries to get that tight waist again, maybe to elevate. Malich doing a good job pulling him up, controlling that elbow, keeping that underhook, or overhook, sorry. Let's see if he tries to, to go behind that, that leg again. Here it is, right hip. He's to get his hips out, that's right. Digging well, though, is Jan Malich. Adas attempting to take down here. Arda's trying to get his hands clasped together. He's close, does so. Fingers, hands, elbows, takedown. We've got 100% here from Jan Malic. Doesn't turn into anything. Good control. Very good control by Aras. This is kind of what happened in the first round, about two minutes into the fight. We saw a takedown, and then it was dominance from Adas from then on. Yeah, let's see what his approach is here, what his uh, offensive approach, whether he wants to continue to grapple and uh, try and get a finish that way, or is he going to try and uh, get the TKO with punches? Trying to wrap up the Kimura from the bottom, a tough thing to do when you got your legs laced. But he's trying to get the arm out. Adas does the right thing, covers with his knee, just reinforces that elbow with his left side. He's a strong man. Let's see if he can do it. Yeah, maybe he could kick off the fence here as well to, to, to get a, a different look. Ardis oh, trying nice. to switch this. He can switch this into his own submission attempt. Steps over, gets the back. Beautiful done by, uh, beautifully done by Adis. Bumaye taking that left side hook right around the body. Could go to a mounted position or maybe takes the back. This could be the beginning of the end here for Yan. Good hip pressure. Trying to flatten him out, see if he can do it. I mean, he's 
pretty much flattened out. Yeah, has got that Dagestani handcuff, or as they like to call it, you know, controlling that wrist on the far side, using those long limbs well. Now on the back, looking to get this oh. submission. We know Malic has been working hard in his submission defense. He's got his chin tucked. He's doing, you know, a lot of the right things. Needs to try and attack that wrist. Needs to get two on one, two hands grabbing one wrist. It's the best way to defend any choke. Absolutely, got to fight the hands first before anything. He's next high now. Others could sneak under. Tight grip with the legs. Bromada has not gone for the two hooks, but you can see how he's got those legs clasped. Good idea for Malic. Yeah, he's got to try and create a scramble and try and get out of that position. Because he's be careful here. Slowly, inch by inch. Good work on the ground. Malic surviving that tough position. Encouragement here from the crowd as we go into the last 30 seconds of round number two. I like how Bumaye just covers there on the on the mount position. See how he crosses his legs underneath him. Pure dominance now on the ground from Bumaye, ending that second round in control again. Back in the mount. That's two rounds. Where dominant rounds. In very dominant on the feet and on the ground. This is our third fight, and it's a third fight to go into our third round. Well matched fights here at Octagon. Bromaye calm, should be, showed, had a great showing so far. Came out aggressive in that second round. Need to see more of this. From, Absolutely. From, yeah, we know he's capable of it. You know, he, he's got a good style, he's aggressive, he comes forward. Just has to have the confidence now to do that after two rounds. Struggling, you know, the mental fortitude to now come out in the third and risk it all. Third and final round. Let's see what we, the uh, Malik can pull out here. Because you got to, you know, he, he knows he's not winning this fight. Better work early on from Yam. Gang Stook needs to avoid this takedown attempt. Yeah, he's got to stop getting up against t the, the cage like that. Digging for that right side underhook. Oh boy. Converts it again. Does Bumaye. It's a good job on Bumaye getting him, getting him takedown. Earlier in this round as well. He's got a lot, he's got the whole round of work now. And we've seen once he gets the takedown in the first two rounds, Jan's never been able to get back to his feet. Right. Back to mounts very easily as he passes there with the knee slice. No, no, no. Malik. He's got to create a scramble, get out of there, not, not do those little punches. I feel like he's very heavy on top, is Arda, because just, just how he has the legs wrapped underneath in that mount. Doing well now, is Yan Yan's doing all the right things now, trying to fight that leg. But not convincingly enough, there's a shrimp, doesn't quite work, maybe could push off that fence. Sometimes I feel like I go into cornering mode when I'm, uh, when I'm doing this. <laughs> no, you can't help it, man. You... I see the guy, I want him to try and escape his position. You know, let, let's get those hips up, let's turn. For him, he needs to push down that knee or, or get his, shrimp his, his ass back so he can get his bum back. Right, he's not even attempting to uh, bump the hips, shrimp out. Um, 
Push off the fence, got to do something here to try and create a scramble. There's that shrimp, that's nice work, and those hips back needs to be careful, he doesn't give up the back though. Side choke available now for others. If he can pin that head to the ground, this is oh, tight. He's going for it. This is going to be tight. This could be it. He's going for that kata katami. Uh, AKA arm triangle. <laughs> AKA side choke. AKA clock choke. <laughs> this is tight. Jan Blakovic Jan Malic surviving <laughs> in survival mode. Puts a thumb up. Oh, he's good. He let go of it. Keeps control. Maybe just felt he didn't have the right angle, couldn't get that squeeze. Better to give it up. Cause some damage in the mount. A very familiar sight in this fight. Bumayai Adas in the mount position, in complete control. Right, if he ends up winning this uh, this fight, I wonder what the judges are giving him. I mean, these are these have got to be a 10-8, maybe even 10-7 rounds. I don't know. There's been no offense from from the bottom. You know, there's no no shots, no nothing. No. So maybe this third round, the first two were very dominant as well. But at least we had you know the the jumping knees, the the, the big overhands. He had his moments. But has been really, really until he gets taken down yeah once he hits the mat he, he's getting dominated that which we saw in the vt earlier on the video you know that's what he needs to work on he recognizes it he's trying his best he's going to the gym every day trying to improve but when you're at this high level already competing on octagon back taken here nice this this is the moment that he's got to use create a scramble baby let's go Needs to be careful of that arm, though, as Alice attacks. Looks like he's going to straighten. Maybe going to slip over into the armbar position. Oh, my. Belly down. Oh, my. Yeah. The tap. Wow. Ah, da, boom, ah, da, ah, da, boom, ah, da, boom, Gets the submission victory in style in an absolutely dominant performance. Yeah, he looked great out there in every aspect of striking the... the, the intelligence the composure the grappling he looked he looked real good yeah really complete fighter and that's another win in the win column for Arda Bumaye Adas the Turkish man flying out of Germany he will be happy tonight should be that was a hell of a fight dominant yeah, showed a complete skill set. I, I was really impressed with his striking. Just the movement, just the way he, how free he was, you know. But really what won him the fight was this, the grappling side, right? the control, you know, the patience. You know, they didn't rush any position, was very calm. And then they finished off with a pretty slick armbar as well, you know, from the back, rolling over, belly down was, was, was a slick finish. Here we see it. Yeah, that is, that is beautiful, super high level. Not very easy to do, you know, this, this is a high level fighter. He looked great out there. Good promising future on this guy. Dámy a pánové, známe vítěze tohoto zápasu. V čase 3 minuty 59 v třetím kole se jim díky armbaru stává Arda Boma je Adaš. Největší kariérní výzva pro jednoho, koruna šampiona a sláva pro druhého. Československý souboj o to nejcenější. Pás šampiona ve střední váze. Právě se mi rodí dvě různé taktiky, buď to ukončit jako velice rychle, anebo prostě toho piráta šikanovat, drtit ho a ukázat mu, že tam je ten večer jako špatně. V Octagonu není jen jeden král, v Octagonu je nový král. S kvůli kvůli tomu, že jsi dostal bitku o titul v KSV a teda jsem dojel, že pověl, že jsi nový král. Čím má se ukončit? Jakým úderom? Jakým kálem? Čo on nemá kálem úder? Obávám se ten pás a zoberem si domů další pás a vůbec nemám žádné obavy s něho. Já ho chytím, uděřím. A bude po zápase.
Lístky v síti Ticketportál a živě na octagon.tv.